Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, here to talk about the potential to use an ATSC 3.0 TV signal to broadcast digital radio stations. The concept was developed by One Media, the ATSC 3.0 division of Sinclair Broadcast Group. I actually covered this on my trip to CES back in January and plan to cover it more next week at the NAB show. To summarize the whole thing, the flexibility and efficiency of an ATSC 3.0 TV signal can potentially broadcast up to 50 radio stations on one single RF channel. Information within a TechRadar.com article states that this is possible because of the efficiency of the XHE AAC audio codec, which can deliver high quality stereo audio with as little as 24 kilobits per second compared to about 96 to 160 kilobits per second many digital audio streams use today. The article also mentions that ATSC 3.0 radio stations could be accessed on a variety of devices beyond a regular next-gen enabled TV, including a laptop, tablet, smart speaker, and even a vehicle. You can find a link to the techradar.com article in the description of the video. Definitely check it out as there's some very good information within it. While ATSC 3.0 radio is still a concept, it has a lot of potential. There's a very limited number of radio stations in each market, many with stale cookie cutter formats thanks to these companies. Up to 50 new radio stations in a given area would offer a better variety of programming compared to what's available on radio right now. At CES, I noticed some unique music formats on the ATSC 3.0 radio demo that aren't common on AM FM radio, including 70s hits, jazz, and rock alternative. ATSC 3.0 radio would also be a great replacement for AM radio, which is declining at a very rapid rate. More on this in a future video. While ATSC 3.0 radio is still a concept, it would be great to see it take off. A major problem with radio today is that younger generations like mine are migrating over to streaming services like Spotify for a better variety of music. SiriusXM is also popular among my age group since it offers music formats not available on AM FM radio. If ATSC 3.0 radio takes off, the better variety of programming might help keep younger listeners tuned to radio instead of tuning out entirely in favor of streaming services. This video was relatively short, but I figured to update everyone on another fascinating possibility of the new ATSC 3.0 TV standard. As I said, I'll be covering it more at the NAB show next week, so make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and you hit the bell icon. Otherwise, you may not be notified when my video is posted. In the meantime, be sure to follow my links in the description of the video to some in-depth articles on ATSC 3.0 radio. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. Additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA for updates. If you aren't on Facebook and want to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description below. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.